must have been 4.15, August 30th. Four point something seconds he had. Then after that, everything went upside down. We knew it was going to happen. We knew it could happen. It was just a matter of doing it. I guess it would be like turning a page to shape it out in the beginning of a story. Each shaving it falls, shaping it. There's a page, there's a page. It's really been uh, a vehicle for, for positive interaction with, with human beings of, of all flavors. Even if you were down on your luck and hadn't carved in 20 years, you could still do it and be part of this community of carvers and weavers. If you just wanted to sort of be there, you would be welcomed. Rick stepped into this because he was forced into this. His brother was killed. He didn't have a choice. But what he did, the choice that he made, was to step up as powerfully as he could as a spokesperson for what he wanted his brother to be remembered for. Taking such a terrible thing and giving something beautiful and positive back, you know, that could have went the other way, but in my heart that we did the right thing by staying calm. One, two, three! <laughs> also the community came together in a way that embraced healing as opposed to just some sort of violent reaction. It's by far the hardest thing I had to walk into. company or I, that we all put our hearts and mind into this project to get it done. This is, this is going to speak louder than I ever will.